radiant wings. Night of Asteria. Hey everybody, Scott from RPG Fan here, back again with another preview video. This time for the much anticipated Trails Through Daybreak. As always, there is a written version of this video in the description below. So if that's more your speed, please feel free to check out the website and read it in its entirety there. In just over a month, it will be time again to return to Zemiria with another installment of the Trail series. The Legend of Heroes Trails Through Daybreak kicks off the Calvet arc, the fourth arc in the Greater Trail series. If you're new to the Trail series or generally curious about it, you can read my So You Want to Get to the Trail series article to help you get all caught up. It'll be in the description below. Thankfully, it looks as though Trails Through Daybreak will give plenty of new players a great starting point to get their feet wet in this fantastic RPG series. Thanks to the great people over at NIS America, I attended a preview event for Trails Through Daybreak to check out the game. The first thing to note is that NIS America is releasing a PS4, PS5, and Switch demo of Trails Through Daybreak on June 4th. Note that the PlayStation and Switch demos will be slightly different. The Switch demo will only include the prologue, while the PlayStation 4 and 5 versions will contain the prologue and the first chapter of the game. A NIS America representative explained that this is due to the amount of space allowed for demos on each platform, and Switch has tighter restrictions. But don't fret Switch users, as NIS America has made it clear that the prologue is lengthy, so there's plenty to play when the demo comes out. And yes, the demo progress will carry over to the full release of the game. As a huge fan of the Trail series, I understand how important the plot is to the players, so I will keep the spoilers for Daybreak to a minimum in this preview. I will largely focus on gameplay elements I found interesting and refreshing for the returning fans, and some stuff that I think new players will enjoy as well. Stay out of trouble now. So what's new with Trails Through Daybreak? Well, Trails Through Daybreak takes place one full year after the events of Trails in the Reverie in the Republic of Calvert. It will be the first time seeing this part of Zemiria outside of the few minutes spent in the city of Altair in Trails to Azure. Our new main protagonist is Van Arkry, a so-called Spriggan will take on any job, including jobs at the Bracer Guild and the police will not. Whether it's detective work, bounty hunter work, or anything you need, he will do it for the right price. Joining him in this new adventure are both returning faces and some new ones, including the other main protagonist, Agnes Claudel, Dell, a young first year student of Aramis Academy who gets involved with Van at some point in the story. And that's all I will delve into for the story. For the rest of this video, we will only be going to the gameplay changes in Daybreak. The most significant gameplay change in Trails Through Daybreak is the combat has been overhauled since Reverie. Every Trails game since Trails in the Sky FC has been a turn-based affair with improvements to the system each time. If you're afraid that what I'm about to say is that Daybreak is not a turn-based game, don't worry, because it still is, with its new hybrid type system. You now have the choice to seamlessly switch between a new action-based system to the turn-based system at your leisure. For example, you could start a fight off in the action-based system and do a good amount of damage to stun your enemy. Then you can switch to the turn-based mode and gain an advantage in combat with strategic well-placed abilities. The only time you can't do this is during a boss battle, which will be strictly based in the turn-based mode. After watching some gameplay of the system, I was impressed with how seamless this mode switches are, allowing you to approach battles based on your preferences. I also think playing a bunch of characters in the action mode will make combat even more fun and immersive for both newcomers and returning fans. You picked the wrong guy to fight. You kick butt, man. Now, this battle system change wouldn't have been possible without the other big change in Trails Through Daybreak, which is its new graphics engine. We got a peek at this new engine at the end of Reverie, but Daybreak is the first Trails game to use the new engine throughout. Along with the fidelity upgrade to character models and the world around them, the engine also allows for smoother character animations. One of the biggest issues since Trails of Cold Steel has been the very lackluster and clunky action scenes. Thankfully, starting with Daybreak, we can expect a much higher quality experience. Of course, it wouldn't be a new Trails arc if we didn't get a new Ormond system as well. This time we have the 6th generation Ziphia Ormonds. 
Ziffy armaments work a bit differently than the Arcus units from Cold Steel and previous generations. In Daybreak, Quartz is only used for stat boosts and effects like Defense, Shield, Attack, or EP Cut, instead of affecting what kind of arts you can cast. While the use case is different now, it does matter what you put in each slot. Putting specific Quartz in various orbit lines unlocks the powerful new Shard skills in battle. Shard skills do such things as adding elemental properties to your attack or decreasing the enemy's strength when you hit them. Proper use of what Quartz to put in what slots will allow for higher level Shard skills to be used, which in turn will make battles go quicker and smoother. When watching the gameplay demo, it felt like it looked like a revamped version of Trails in the Sky's Orbit system, with some added flair to it. So what about Arts, you ask? Arts now have their own section of the Orbit in the Arch Driver. The Arch Driver is a circuit board-like accessory you add to the Orbit that comes preloaded with different sets of Arts. You can also customize it to your liking as you progress and buy Arts individually, as well as get better Arch Drivers. These changes give you the freedom to build characters to your liking, stat-wise and ability-wise, without forcing specific abilities as prior Trails games did. The last major change in Daybreak is Van's alignment value system. Depending on what you choose to say in certain situations during the story, his alignment will switch between Law, Grey, and Chaos. During the preview, it was explained that this wouldn't have a huge impact on the story overall, but it will determine, for instance, which side characters join the group at specific parts of the story. So now is a reason to go back and replay certain sections with different choices, and a replayability of the game in future playthroughs. Based on what I saw, that's about everything I can go over without going into spoiler territory. As a massive Trails fan, I'm excited to see this breath of fresh air come to the series that sometimes can be overwhelming for both newcomers and many who have had experience burnout with the series. Although I've yet to play it myself, from what I've been told, I'm also happy to note that Trails Through Daybreak can be a fresh new starting point for newcomers as well. And from what I've seen, that seems to be the truth. And finally, do not worry Twitch fans. Even though we are knee deep in our summer marathon over at the RPG Fan Twitch channel, we will still find time to stream Daybreak when it releases. So please come join us on release day and enjoy it together. And that wraps up yet another preview video. All relevant links can be found in the description below including the written version of this video and a few others. And once again, if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and add a comment down below. It really does help these videos out a ton, so thank you, and I will try my best to answer any and all questions you may have as well. So enjoy, Trails fans, and I'll see you soon. Peace out, and have a great night. You better take good care of it.